Hello everyone and welcome to a new PD tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a chorus effect using the same algorithm that I used for the flanger. Both flanger and chorus are delay time based effects. So we need to write a delay line using del write. We give it a name chorus, the maximum delay time, then we need to use del read for to read through that delay line. As audio file, I want to use SF play one, the audio player, the simple audio player I made uh, in PD. You can find the video both on top here and in the video description below. Now the audio file is sent straight to the del write and to a multiplication node. From this point, we read through the delay line using an oscillator with a frequency that we can set on top here. And this is going to be our LFO rate. So we can write a label rate and set its frequency from 0 to 6. Then we multiply the output by a number from 0 to 1. So we want to decide whether to have a modulation or not. And this is going to be the LFO depth. Now we link a plus tilde. We can send the output straight to the del write, the del read, sorry. And we can use a line tilde with a message, $1, let's say 20. So go to that specific value in 20 milliseconds. And the incoming value is going to be the actual delay time. Uh, the chorus has a delay time within a range of 20 and 40 milliseconds. So we set uh, the limits of our number box and we send it to the uh, plus tilde. We have almost finished. We need to apply a multiplication tilde to set the amount of chorus effect we want to send. So normalize this number box between 0 and 1. Oops, and this is the effects amount. And now we can simply have a listen. That's all for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if so, I invite you to give a like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.